back back in the family and against a very talented uh, Georgia team, uh, size and uh, just really proud of our guys' effort defensively, and that's why I really believe our defense is starting to trend up, and we, we're probably a little ahead defensive than we are offensively. Uh, but thank goodness that our defense is starting to, to play at, at the level that you got to play in the SEC. Uh, then get off to a good start. And, and I, I just really felt that our guys were a little, a little fatigued started off. And the bench is so important in what we do. And we saw that on display again. We saw it in the Texas Tech game. We saw it tonight. I thought they came in, Desi, Gabe, Usaborn, uh, Osaborn, uh, uh, Reggie Chaney, uh, Keyshawn Embry. And I thought those guys came in and, and really ignited some energy in the building. And before you know it, our fans were in it. And then the guys coming off, I thought they uh, turned up the, the intensity. Uh, uh, Dan got in foul trouble again. Uh, uh, one of the fouls was just a just, just silly foul. And uh, he's got to he – can't keep putting himself in that situation, uh, trying to go get it back. Uh, but the beauty of it is that these other guys are starting to step up. I mean, you look at that, uh, I call it that quick forward position. Uh, we got a lot of things from those guys tonight. When you talk about Reggie and Gabe and, uh, and Adriel, I thought Adriel played well. As a matter of fact, he got robbed on one basket where he went in and he had a dunk and uh, just snake bitten on that. But he attacked the basket. I love how he played. But if you look at what those guys brought to the table, I think 17 points. I think we had like uh, uh, Reggie had six rebounds, Gabe had three. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Adriel, 11 rebounds. I mean, that's big. You know, when, when they play well, our team plays well. And we had guys make plays. Uh, the big, the shot that Isaiah made, I thought it was a, he only made one shot. And you could tell he was he was not himself tonight. Uh, but I love I love the, uh, the effort of him wanting to be out there and uh, to step up and knock that shot down. Uh, that put us up, I think, put us up three. And, and we didn't – I think we didn't lose the lead after that. Uh, Mason Jones, uh, uh, he started attacking the basket, curling and getting in, in the lane, getting to the free throw line, and eventually we're going to make shots. But uh, but to hold a team to 29% uh, had, I think, 14 block shots. Uh, that's That means we were active. You know, Dan had quite a bit there in the second half. Uh, I thought Dan did a great job when he came back, you know, after three fouls of pro protecting the rim back there. And, of course, Reggie yeah, and Gabe. Uh, our guys were really active at the rim. Uh, so uh, it's a good win. Uh, uh, wasn't a thing of beauty, but at the same time, uh, in the SEC, you know, games are going to be like that. you got to find a way to win. So we def we found a way to, hold, uh, to defend the home court. That, that was what it was. You mentioned it a little bit right there, but Isaiah, how much did you expect from him tonight? And what's it say about him to be able to knock down that shot in a, in a critical spot? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a groin. I mean, there's a lot of guys that are playing sick, got a lot of guys playing hurt. But it told a lot about him, I think. You know, uh, he was spent. I mean, he was, I mean, he, he, I think Reggie threw him a great pass one time and uh, it ended up being a turnover. And how about that? Four turnovers. And that was one of the turnovers. Just think about that. That was one of the turnovers that he threw to him. And it was a good pass. He just couldn't get to it. He's the coach. I just, I just, you know, just congested and all that stuff. Uh, but never did he say, hey, uh, I don't want to play. And uh, so I think that's, uh, that's a good characteristic to have, especially as a freshman. I mean, you're talking about a freshman. And, uh, but then to have the, uh, uh, the confidence and his teammate to have the confidence to get it to him and knock down a big shot. Mike, you talked about your front line. After Gafford picked up that third foul, I think Adrian and Gabe combined for nine straight points. Then later it was Gafford and Chaney had eight in a row. Your front line, having all four guys putting it together like that, especially in the second half, talk about that because we haven't seen a lot of that this year. Well, we're starting to see it. I thought we saw some of it in the uh, Texas Tech game. Uh, this team is starting to put some things together, even against the Missouri. And I just think uh, they're starting to figure out the roles. I think that's the biggest key. And, and, and I think that – they're going with a different mindset, and they're going, you know, from a defensive standpoint and energy. And, uh, and you're seeing the quick movement now. Now they're cutting and getting to the hole. They're getting some offensive rebounds. They're getting to the free throw line. They're getting in the open floor. We saw Reggie in, in the open floor. Uh, so I guess they're starting to pick up on things that, uh, that we're trying to do and know how valuable they are to our basketball team because if we can get those guys to giving us that, uh, we're going to make shots. I, I really do. I think, you know, once Isaiah gets back to full tilt, uh, uh, we, we're going to eventually make shots. Uh, but our bench has got to continue to develop. And uh, and Dan, he's going to continue to be a target. But those guys got to be able to knock those the high post shots that they're giving. They're giving them the shots. They got to be able to knock them down. 
you know, uh, Bob, you get a question now. I know. I just, I'm hey, hey, that's a first down. Where you go? All right. I, I appreciate you guys on that. Uh, oh, suspend. Okay, that's good. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, you know, they hit a 32 of 40 against Texas. You know, 67 percent. You guys hold them under 30. I mean, I know you talked about the defense, but but just how good is it to do that to a team that was so hot their last game? Uh, they scored 98 points. I mean, and we hold them to 60 points. Uh, you know, I, I've been saying our defense, I think, is getting better. Uh, and, and and maybe it was, you know, they had something to do with that, or maybe it was, it was some of our guys. But I thought our guys were, were pretty active and uh, we took charges. We, 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 we defended the rim. I thought we did a good job of that. They made some threes and uh, got some loose balls that turned into baskets for them. Uh, what I love about our guys, they stayed, they stayed together, and that's all they talked about. Th these guys are growing; they're learning. Uh, they said it. You know, when adversity came, hey, let's, let's just stay together, guys. Let's let's stay as one. And that's, you know, for the coach to start hearing that, and that that means they're starting to get it. Hey, Mike, uh, when they opened it up 11-2, 12-4, you know, uh, called a timeout. What did you tell them in the sidelines? Make sure that things didn't get out of hand that early. Is that when I changed? I think I put some other guys in there. I think we started putting some energy guys in. I thought we need some energy. I thought I thought we just came out. Uh, it's kind of lethargic. I mean, we were slow. I mean, they had like they had like five or six offensive rebounds, like in in the first sequence it seemed like. And so we was like we were moving the mud. And uh, so we needed somebody to inject some energy in our team. And I thought those guys came in and and they did that. Um, Mike, fourteen block shots. I think it's four, that's the most ever in an SEC game. So that's a lot of SEC games since 1992. Well, what, what do you think about that? Uh, and, and, and Reggie had five. I thought our guys played athletic. I, I thought at times they played athletic. You know, uh, maybe not. You know, it's it, it's so weird because they they out rebound us by 24. Uh, we make them turn it over 16 times. We only have four turnovers. They shoot 29 percent from the field. Uh, we only shoot 23 from the uh, from the three point line. You know, uh, in fact, we shot 18, I think, in the first half. But our second half was – I thought our second half, we were a lot better. Uh, so, when you when you look at those stats there, man, uh, I know they're a much, much more explosive team than that. Uh, so, I thought we did a good job of really being – being in, and wearing them down. I thought wear and tear. And we got guys in foul trouble. You know, some of the Hammonds kid, he ended up fouling out. But uh, they had some fouls problems early in the game as well as us having Dan with two. I think Mason had two. Uh, then, I think Jalen Harris picked up his third – early in the first half. So it's so important that, that those guys coming off, uh, they got to be able to give us something. And, and Mason, I thought Mason was big tonight. I thought he really stepped up and, and uh, made – he played well for us. Got six rebounds and uh, and, 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 and we had, he had four assists. And, uh, and the thing I'm real proud of, he didn't turn it over. And, you know, Mason was just sitting here saying that the team's confidence is growing and growing. You know, however, whenever that Ole Miss game was, you talked about the confidence was kind of shattered. Do you sense – the confidence has has been put back together, and these guys are are are, are getting confident again. Bouncing. They're well, starting back to figure that. some things out, Bob. I, I think that's what it is. They're, they're starting to figure it out, and they're starting to trust each other. I think the communication on defense is is so much better than it was early on. And when you do that, and your defense is good, then they're going to help trigger some offensive things. And uh, uh, <clears throat> so we just got to keep. <clears throat> we're working progress. We just got to continue to get better. And that's that's typical of our team, Bob. They they start start putting it together. They start figuring out their roles. And uh, uh, like I said, they play hard. Like I said, I just thought they early on they played tired. But in the in the, in the uh, but once we got it going, and in the second half, I thought you know uh, our energy level picked up a little bit more. Uh, we still got to get better out on the board. They had 23 offensive rebounds. You you can't do that in the SEC and and, and beat people. So that's something we're gonna really harp on and work on. Do you think the fatigue was from Texas Tech, the trip? Oh, I, we had three games. I think in six days, didn't we? Uh, that's that's these guys ain't never been through that, Bob. They never been through that. And not only that. That was an emotional game for those guys at Texas Tech. I mean, you, you think about it. They were right there, and that was – they were really disappointed. You know, I wasn't discouraged. So, to me, for them to bounce back in this game in the SEC, you know, knowing that Georgia had just came off of a big win in the Big 12 SEC Challenge, uh, uh, I, I was really proud of our guys. I really was.